Hello there, English speaking people. This is a dungeon crawl stone soup. It's a very complex, deep, and meaningful video game for the smart man. More often than not, I find myself too much excessively dungeon crawl stone to play this game, but I actually enjoy watching other people play in dungeon crawl stone soup, which is pretty unique work for my character. I often jump and chat while the guy is playing, and then I say something friendly and totally not creepy. Can you show me your skills or your attributes? Yeah, it might sound like I'm asking a nudity photos from 40 years old man who watched at this screen for five hours. But hey, it's how I make friends. The game is great and very complex and with very high difficulty curve. But the good thing is you don't have to play, you can just watch it. Nobody plays games anymore. People either watch Let's Plays or devlogs of other people making games. I can see how helpful those videos are. It motivates you like shit. And also it feels like you're progressing, like you're moving forward in your own project by watching those videos. So, here's my own devlog of guy who makes his game. So, my dream video game project is called Cry Baby. The game is about being a small girl who walks her giant and dangerous dog and she calls him a puppet. And also, your main attack is crying. If you know what reference is this, write down in the comments. After making a bloody horror ugly disgusting video game called Golden Light, which was too much for some people, my inner artist now kinda wants to sell out to make a cute family-friendly game that everyone can enjoy and of course to add some creepy fucking shit Cry Baby is like 10th video game project that I tried to make after Golden Light and most of them failed. Indie game developer's life is pure hell. I actually did that infamous mistake where a single guy tries to make his own GTA, his own Grand Theft Auto with the destructible buildings and driving and the procedural world. The project became a big mess pretty quickly, so here we are with a game about little girl in 2D. I made Making it in my favorite guilty pleasure game engine, Unity. I'm writing most of the things from ground up. Most of the tools and tricks and patterns are stuff I learned during the making those 10 or so prototypes. The development started with creating the player character. My lovely wife did the first artwork and she still makes art for the game. The game is... Well, actually Crybaby is a dungeon crawl stone soup, but it's real time, it has a dog, it has chill music, there are dogs in the game, it has a unique art style, it's kinda procedural, it's kinda dungeon crawling, we're making a kinda linear JRPG style story, there is a dog in the game, you can water your dog, there is an experience system, my brother from another mother, Mr. Vova, made these 3D tiles for procedural city, the game has procedural city, Yes, but it's very constrained. Playable locations are pretty condensed, so you don't have to run around open but empty city. My brother from another another mother, Mr. Serioja, made this 3D city tiles. And so now the city looks like this. The gameplay is you run around with your dog. Your dog is fighting with uh, wild, huge, mutated crows and crying garbage bags. You can cry too, of course, but that's not the only attack you have. Also you can find a heavy stick or some debris to throw or a lighter to fire things up or maybe even a gun. Some of the features to add are collecting your dog's poops which is a nice thing to do and also feeding the wild dogs if they are nice which is a nice thing to do. Also, I do it every day. So the roots of the game is, uh, of course, inside the uh, personal experience of walking a dog. But hey, I want to share this experience and the process of making this game with you guys. This is uh, kind of something we tried with Golden Light. Many of the game's uh, features are community driven. And uh, of course, we need some feedback on the game. And so things are... I'm now another dev who is crying for attention. And uh, this is the 
dangerous line where this video might transition into kind of self-help Ukraine video. But we won't do this, no? So far so good, Mr. Pink. But what do you mean by saying that Crybaby is basically a dungeon crawl stone soup? Well, I stole some ideas, some progression system mechanics, how the active skills are organized, and overall when I'm designing the game, I think about it like it's a casual, a bit dumped down version of dungeon crawl stone soup, with a stronger focus on a story, weird characters, and funny dialogues. I see dungeon crawl as somewhat of a puzzle game, with its procedural monsters being uh, locks, and your various skills being uh, keys for those locks. Uh, so I'm kinda trying to use this pattern in Crybaby 2. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, got hooked uh, a little bit, at least. The best place to make suggestions on the game is in our Discord server, so, so you're welcome. If you want to grab a build of the game, you can get that very interesting quest of hunting me down somewhere on Discord, and then waiting for god knows how long, before I'll finally send it to you. Yeah,